All right, so this week we're gonna talk about when our attitudes get turned upside down. And I know in life with things that are breaking and things that are shattering into dust, we can tend to think that God is picking on us and get kind of angry and our emotions can run rampant. So what is one way we can take a step to turning our attitudes right side up? Well, I think when we talk about attitude, it's complicated (laughs) because our attitude or our approach to whatever situation that we're walking through, um, it can change just like the hands on a clock with the hours can change, you know? I mean, one minute we can be having the greatest attitude. We can hop out of bed, drink our coffee, be singing praise songs, and the next minute somebody calls and they say one thing and it zings to that vulnerable part of us. It's like a stealth bomb right to the most tender, vulnerable place to us. And suddenly it magnifies not only the situation we're dealing with currently, but it, it brings in the hurt of every situation. Mm-hmm. And it even multiplies because of past situations. So I think we have to pay a really good Um, I think we have to pay really good attention to our attitudes because our attitudes are really indicators. Mm -hmm. A bad attitude can be as much of a gift as a good attitude can. Okay. It just depends on how we look at it and how we contain it. So one thing I try to do is before I have a reaction Mm -hmm. because I'm having a bad attitude, I know when I'm having a bad attitude, I'm much more likely to hold people accountable around me for things they've never done. Um, Or I hold them accountable on a much greater level Mm -hmm. than the offense at hand. And so I have to make sure that my attitude isn't affecting my current relationships. Um, And so I have to be really careful of that. But the second thing is it's a a bad attitude is indicating something needs Mm -hmm. to be addressed. So it's kind of like, when you're driving your car and the check engine light comes on. Oh. How we react to that is quite hilarious. <laughs> we assume, oh, there's nothing wrong with this car. This is just an annoying light, <laughs> right? Yes. Or we think, well, maybe there's something wrong with the car, but it, there's nothing wrong with it right now because it's driving just <laughs> fine. Right. We might even go to the mechanic and say, can you please turn this annoying indicator light off? Mm-hmm. But if he's a good mechanic, he'll say no. Because if you don't address this, you're eventually going to have a breakdown. Mm. And so I recognize that the same thing that could give me a breakdown is the very same thing that could give me a breakthrough. It's just whether or not I'm paying attention to the indication Mm. lights in my life. So if you've been having a bad attitude about something, this, this is what I think could be a gift is address what is really underneath that. And it could be something simple, like you need more sleep, or it could be hormonal. Mm -hmm. Give it a day. This too shall pass, right? (laughs) Exactly, yes. Sometimes it's like, I feel like, oh, the world is against me. And the very next day, I'm like, oh, no, that was my hormones. Definitely for me, yes. Um, But it could indicate something deeper, like um, the beginnings of bitterness, Mm. Um, it, it could be um, a situation, a relational situation that needs to be addressed that we keep sweeping under the rug. Yeah. It could be a lack of boundaries in some scenario in your life where you're repeatedly giving people permission to treat you a certain way that it's it's a direct result of not drawing those appropriate boundaries in your life. So whatever it is, don't just say, you shouldn't have a bad attitude. Say to yourself, I don't want to be held accountable for taking this bad attitude and using it against someone else, yeah. number one. And number two, this is probably an indication that something needs to be addressed in my life. And once we start to address the underlying issue, we can change our attitude. That's good, Lisa. Thank you so much. <laughs>